The National Finals Rodeo is the biggest rodeo in the world with a performance every night for 10 days. Only the top 15 competitors in each event can compete. These athletes have won the most throughout the rodeo season and placed at the 2021 NFR. Uh, I'm Josh Frost, professional bull rider. Uh, came in the NFR set in fifth place. I kind of funny I grew up wanting to be a bull rider my dad used to ride bulls and so as a kid I remember seeing pictures of him and that's all I've ever wanted to do is ride bulls. I had a lot of support come from a rodeo family and like I said it was cool knowing my dad rode bulls and a lot of family legacy my second cousin's Lane Frost he was a world champion and my grandpa rode bucking horses and um, my older, like I said my, I have brothers and so we just grew up riding together and it's, it's a lot, a lot of family support. In 2020, I got stepped on, got my gut stepped on at Fort Worth and had to have my spleen and part of my pancreas removed. And that one, I'd had injuries before that one, but that one was pretty scary. And said I was in the hospital for about three weeks, lost about 30 pounds. And so coming back from that one was a big stepping stone for me. Like this is the dream, you know, you grow up knowing with the sport of rodeo, you know, the NFR, you wait all year for it. And this is what you visualize from the time you know what bull riding is, is riding bulls in the yellow bucket shoots. Um, highest score was this year, I uh, actually it was the bucking bull of the year and he bucked me off earlier in the year at Malfouche and I drew him again at Lawton and rode him there for 90, 92 points and won the rodeo. I, it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to explain. I wouldn't say it's a blur, you know, when you get into that right frame of mind, it's just all reaction and like I said it's stuff you know I've trained my whole life for it and so I get there mentally and then just let it happen. I've, my body knows what to do, I just gotta stay out of its way. Just there's nothing like it, you know. There, there's not very many sports out there that you literally we said we work for eight seconds and you know I've drove twelve hours and got bucked off and other times you drive twelve hours and you stay on for eight seconds and win first place and it's just from the time I started riding calves it was Started out, and I think I won my first or second rodeo. And once you get a taste of the win, and it's hard to stop. Gold buckle, number one goal. You know, been working at it all year long, and um, said coming to the NFR, it's a marathon. You got ten days, and so you're gonna take one day at a time and just stay focused and get things rolling and keep it going. There's three rough stock events in rodeo, and uh, the one that I participate in is bareback riding. Now, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of my gear. Um, so the most critical piece of bareback riding equipment is uh, your bareback rigging and in as opposed to a saddle bronc saddle um, in the saddle bronc riding which is the other horse riding event they use a saddle and has stirrups and they use a hack rein for their anchor point now the bareback riding uses a bareback rigging and this is it's basically a glorified handle um, there's some a little bit of modern technology but for the most part it's just a handle so this is made out of rawhide and leather and um all this this shelf that i put in here is custom i've done a lot of the adjustments to this myself to make it fit for me and the fit up of your rigging is really important so the second piece of critical bareback riding gear is your glove and a bareback rigging glove or bareback riding glove is really important because it does two main jobs it protects your hand but it also keeps you in the bareback rigging. It's hand stitched. It's 
made to fit my hand really well and it has some specific attributes that help it stay in the bareback rigging. So I'll tie this on before I ride. Now, when I put this glove in my rigging, it'll fit really tightly and it kind of locks in there while my hand is closed, which helps me to keep my hand in the rigging. Kind of show you what it takes to get your hand in here. And that's what makes bareback riding a lot different than the other events is at this point, when you're in the chutes and you've cracked your hand around, you're committed to making a ride. There are seven events at the NFR. Bareback riding, steer wrestling, team roping, saddle tronc riding, tie down roping, barrel racing, and bull riding.